Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Devil May Cry Peak of Combat, specifically about leveling quickly, moving through that storyline, and unlocking all the different game modes that there is in the game, and there is a ton. We are one week into the game. As you can see, I'm level 51, and I'm progressing nicely through the game. I've learned a lot of things on the way that hopefully you find helpful, so let's get into it. All right, and welcome back. So let's first talk about all the different game modes that you're gonna be able to unlock here. So let's go into events. What I'm talking about specifically are these resource battles here that is gonna get you a ton of resources to build up your roster, to strengthen your roster, your characters, your weapons and everything. The challenge modes here, gonna get a lot of resources from them as well. And then also skill, this is where PVP lives. Now we can't talk about progressing through the story and unlocking all the different game modes that there are without talking about energy. In this game, energy refreshes one every eight minutes, which is kind of long. On average, for the most part, most games, it's one energy every five to six minutes. So this is pretty long. Also, the cost of the battles are pretty high. It's 30 energy per battle. So you're gonna chew through that energy very, very quickly. So what I did early on when the game launched was I used gems to refresh my energy. And I'm gonna be talking about this from a free to play player perspective, because I've been 100% free to play and I feel that I'm progressing nicely in the game. And I haven't felt that I've needed to pay anything into the game in order to get through any paywalls or anything like that. So if we take a look at the energy here, you can refresh three times a day. The first is 100, the second is 200, and the third is 400. So you're gonna be spending 700 energy every single day to refresh your energy to help you get through that story. Now, I did that until I hit chapter six, and I think one of the reasons why I stopped at chapter six is because I was doing a stream on Saturday, so this launched on a Wednesday. I was doing a stream on Saturday, and one of the mods joined the game and said, hey, don't use your gems on energy refreshes. Use it on something else. And I was kind of wondering why. Why? Because in every other game, typically you're going to use the in-game currency to refresh energy so you can go through and farm resources. This game, you don't use energy to farm resources. You inadvertently do through some of the, the um, events and things that are happening, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But all of these events here, nothing here costs energy. This is all free. Just go in there. You've got one attempt per day on this. On these challenges here, it's unlimited, so you can go in over and over. So you're not having to refresh energy so that you can build up resources for your roster. You're doing some refreshes so you can move through the story and get to chapter six as quickly as you can because by the time you complete chapter six, you have unlocked all the different game modes and then you're gonna be doing a ton of farming for the different resources and everything in the game. So use gems to refresh your energy up until you complete chapter six. After that, you're gonna hold on to your gems and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. The reason why that's so important is because when we go into events, there's one that, I mean, you're gonna get, you're gonna do all these, you're gonna farm all of these, right? But one to really pay attention to is this memory corridor. And the reason for that is because you're going to get office experience. Now with your office level here, every time you level the office, you're going to get some energy. You're gonna get 20 energy every level of that office. So you wanna go in here, farm memory corridor as far as you can, and you don't even have to worry about whether you three star it or not, okay? Because what you're looking for are these first time rewards, that's it. You can go back later and worry about three starring it because there are some nice resources that you get out of here, including uh, a summon for each one that you complete. But you're really going for those first time rewards to level your office so you can get that energy so you can get further and further in the story. There are gonna be times where you just don't have any energy, then you're gonna go back and then you're gonna really focus on farming through the resource battles, the different challenge modes, PVP and things like that. All right, so with that, that was number two. So first, use your energy up to chapter six, then save your gems. Or use your gems to refresh your energy up to chapter six and save. Second is farming that memory corridor as far as you can until you can't anymore. And then third, Let's talk about those gems. We're going back to the gems and into the vault. Those gems you wanna use on the banner here. Don't use it on a regular summon here. You wanna use it on the banner. 
And if you're going to focus on any one in particular, I'd focus on endless judgment. If you're super lucky to pull an endless judgment off of this, then I would go off into Royal Guard. Now, if you're seeing this video and these two are no longer the banner and it's something else, then what we really want to take a look at is which one of the two is going to be most helpful in the game. What is the current raid in the game? What's the current boss battle in the game? Because this guy here, he's physical. They're both physical. Um, and they're, the boss in the game right now is physical. So you're going to want a physical team to go up against. So just use those gems on one of these banners, not the permanent banner that pops up. You will have a, a newbie banner. And as you work through the different events in the, in the game, the, the, the different benefits and stuff like that for completing different missions, you're going to get a bunch of pulls. So specifically, if we go and talk about this, and this is why it's so important to work through the story as well because as you complete different parts of the story you're unlocking all these different resources you're going to get a lot of gems you're going to get five pulls once you complete the first chapter 10 after the second another 10 after the third so there's 25 pulls right off the bat and that's going to help you on that newbie banner and you just continue to work through this get the different resources you're going to get one of these this one here specifically what the special vault breaker that's for the banner and you're also going to get these here, these shards that are going to help you ascend the hunters that you currently have. So definitely want to make sure to work through that. That's another reason why you want to work through the story as quickly as you can. All right. So with that, talked about gems. Next, let's talk about the exchange because there's some exchange stores here that you really want to focus on. So if we take a look at training uh, when actually when you go up here into benefits and you go to the training plan right here There's a whole bunch of different missions and things like that to complete and you're gonna get this currency up here to use in the exchange You can clear this whole thing out I would focus on the summons first get the summons out of the way and then you start working on this other stuff I would prioritize the exquisite elixir because that's what's gonna allow you to level up your hunters the purgatory specter which is gonna allow you to level up your weapons the Essence Crystal Elixir, which is going to allow you to level up your cards. And then the Crimson Scale down here, which is going to allow you to ascend your weapons. So I'd focus on those three first, clear those out, and then go ahead with the other ones. I'd save these last two, the Crystal Heart and the Crude Shadow Stone for last. Um, everything else I would go ahead and clear first. Same with the runes. Get all your runes here because that's going to help you with your book. All right. That kind of leads us into guilds. So once you complete chapter six, you are going to have access to guilds. And that's where we get this guild exchange. As you work through different missions that are available to you in guilds and donating to your guild, you're going to get this currency up here. And then again, in this store, you want to focus on those same thing. It, uh, the materials to level up your hunters, your cards, your weapons and ascending your weapons again you want all of this stuff so you can keep your team your main team topped off at the highest level across the board for your hunter your cards your weapons and ascending them so that you are getting stronger and stronger to work through the story and unlock even more later on down the road currently i am in chapter 12 there's 14 chapters i'm almost halfway through chapter 12 um, and i've not like I said before, I've not ever felt like I've needed to put money into the game to get resources in order to build up my hunters because of a paywall or something like that. Again, 100% free to play. Just really focus on where I'm doing my farming. And then the guild there, um, like I was saying, definitely get into the guild. This is what I was talking about. You got a bunch of missions here. You got rewards that you're going to get. So you're going to get gems through your guild. And also through donating here, you're going to get this currency. Uh, so that you can use in the exchange. So definitely focus on that. Get in a good active guild because that's definitely going to be helpful. All right. Other than that, the only thing left I have for you are codes. I will list all of the codes right over here that are available in the game. But I highly suggest joining the Discord, the official Discord for the game, because they do have a section there where they post all of the codes. They also do live streams where they give new codes. When those codes become available on the live streams, they do move them over to the Discord. And there's a lot of resources that you can get through there. You can also get some summons, weapon summons, uh, hunter summons, all sorts of things. So if you focus on that, you will move quickly through the game. You don't need to pay a dime. And like I said, one week in, 
Level 51, Chapter 12. I think that's pretty good progress. All right, everybody, what do you think? What do you think of the game? What do you think of the tips? Do you have any tips that you would like to share with everybody? If you do, definitely put them in the comment section below so that everybody benefits. All right, all, thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.